Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. You go out to your car or truck, get ready to get on the road, and the darn low pressure light is on. What do you do? There's a couple easy steps that'll get you back on the road safely. Stay tuned. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. I just love it when I go out to my truck or my vehicle and just get ready to drive off and I've got the low tire pressure indicator on. Well, in this brief video, I'm gonna do two different things. For those of you that just want the technique of how to make sure that all the tires are up and to clear the message, that'll be the first part of the video. The second part of the video, we'll teach you about the TPMS. The what? Tire Pressure Monitoring System. I'm gonna tell you what it is how it works, and why it's a good thing. But first, as I promised, let's show you how to get rid of that pesky low tire pressure message. The first thing you need to know is the correct pressure for your tires. Believe it or not, it's listed right on the vehicle. Let me show you. Well, the information you need is right here in a placard located right in the door jam of the driver's side. And for our particular vehicle, both the front and back tires need to be run at 35 PSI or 240 kPa. The spare runs at a much higher pressure at 60 PSI or 415 kPa. Now that we know what the pressures are, let's go ahead and around and check all of our tires and make sure they're run at the right pressures. All right, well, let's go ahead and check these. If they're within a couple pounds either way, and especially as the weather's turning cold, if they're a little overinflated, we're gonna be all right. Let's see what we got there. Well, that one's running at 38 and a half pounds. We'll call it good for this. All right, we're here at our last of our four tires that are mounted on the car. Let's see what we get. Oh, there it is, 21 and a half pounds. So there's our culprit. Let's go ahead and get this aired up. All right, let's go ahead and use this DeWalt portable inflator. We really love this little tool. We use it every time we travel and around the house. And if you wanna check out our review on that, you can do that at uh, the link that's shown above, or you can go to the description below and you can find it on Amazon as well. We really love this tool. What I really like about it is I'm gonna power it up. It's gonna tell us right now, look at the pressure it's indicating, 19 below 20 pounds. We're gonna set it to the desired pressure of, let's just do what it calls for, 35 pounds. There it is. Let's go ahead and start it, and here we go. All right, we've reached the desired pressure. Let's go ahead and get this off of here. Put on our cap again, and we're all done, right? Ah, not so fast. Did you remember the spare? Recently, we had a problem in this vehicle where uh, one of the tires was showing low. All four out here uh, were doing just fine, but we couldn't locate it. it. Turned out to be the spare. It was very low, so we went ahead and inflated that. Once that is done, all five of the tires, which all have monitors in them and transmitters, now have been set to the correct pressure. Everything's smooth, right? Ah, one more step, here we go. All right, we've done everything we're supposed to do, but there's one problem. The low tire pressure indicator is still on. What's up with that? Well, we have one more step. You actually need to reset the onboard computer that's part of the TPMS. And to do that, we need to go for a drive, drive over 20 miles an hour for several minutes, and then the message will clear and you're ready to go. All right, let's do that. All right, so we've headed out. We're at exceeding 20 miles an hour and we're driving along. We still see the message displayed. So it has not reset yet. Let's see what happens. All right, we can now see that just within a few moments here, that was all real-time shots that, uh, that the computer is now reset. Now, the second half of our video is, what happens if you do all those steps and the light doesn't go off? Well, then you got another issue, and what you probably should do is actually take your vehicle to a good tire care partner 
where they can check to see if the sensors and the tires are still good, if batteries have gone dead in these little sensors, or if it has to be reprogrammed. Now, let's talk about the tire pressure monitoring system, what it is, how it works, and why it's a good thing. Well, the acronym TPMS doesn't mean much, but what it stands for, Tire Pressure Monitoring System, really is pretty descriptive of what this system does. How does it work? Well, first of all, each tire has a little RF radio frequency transmitter in it that measures the tire pressure to a specified level and then transmits that data to the central TPMS computer module. And that's how the symbols show up or the warnings show up on your dashboard heads up display. The TPMS will send a warning to you and let you know that your tire pressures are low when tire pressure reaches approximately 25% below the specified level. And actually in that 25%, that can be a lot of handling characteristics and loss of fuel usage. So don't count only on your TPMS to make sure your tire pressures are up and where they should be. What you should also do is do physical inspections along the way and check to make sure that your tires are correctly affected. And now you know why a tire pressure monitoring system is such a great thing. If you really wanna know more about it, check out the description below or even better yet, we have an extensive research paper over on dirtfarmerj.com where you can check out all the details about different kinds of tire pressure monitoring systems. The good, the bad, the ugly, what's better, what's not so good. And you can get really smart about this subject. If you'd like to check out another product that will allow you just to walk by your tires and visually see by an indicator of whether or not your tires are inflated to within 10% of the specified pressure, you gotta check out this video about Quick Pressure's tire monitoring system. It's a great system. And you can also check out this other video that YouTube thinks is just perfect for you. Hey, until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.